For the past few years, we've been evaluating sleds for the annual Snow Tracks Real World Sled of the Year. Now, this is an award we present at the end of the season because we believe it takes a full year on the snow to really understand and assess a snowmobile. This evaluation includes how the machine performs all winter, taking things into account like recalls, breakdowns, and cost of operation. Plus, evaluating a sled over a season gives us a much better understanding of a given machine's performance over different types of conditions over many days' worth of riding. This also gives us the chance to set the machines up to our liking, making them perform up to their potential. Now, a big part of finding the potential of the machine is the addition of traction and control products. But not only is there a performance side to this modification, there's also a safety side to it as well. Because you never know when an icy corner is going to be ahead of you on the trail, and skidding out of control because of the ice can be a costly but avoidable problem. Studying a machine is definitely not on my top 10 things I'd like to do with my evening, but considering the track does basically two of the three things a snowmobile does, which is going and stopping, this is still a pretty important job. Unfortunately, there's no shortcut to installing studs, but there is some tricks to the process. Firstly, a template can be a real time saver to mark the locations, and complex patterns can be laid out without even really thinking about it. Plus, the patterns will work out seamlessly when you get back around to where you started. By marking all the holes first, not only do you know your pattern is worked out, it'll also make drilling a lot easier because there's no starting and stopping, and the cutter works best, the hotter it gets. Oh yeah, the easy way of doing this is just get somebody else to do it for you. Now comes the fun part, the installation. Push-through type studs are one of the easiest and quickest studs to install, plus they'll perform well in almost every situation, making them a good choice for just about every type of rider. Well, that's one. Only 143 more left to go on this shift here. Man, I'm happy this is the only sled I have to do today. <sighs> Last one. Obviously, with 144 picks in the track, traction is going to be greatly improved. Now, I mentioned earlier that the track does do two of the three things the snowmobile does, and that's make it go and make it whoa. The third thing it does is steer, and that part should never be overlooked when you add traction products to the track. After only about 500 miles, these stock wear bars are already showing some serious signs of wear with a big chunk broken out of the carbide already. Now these new dualies, which are much more aggressive, should do a better job at balancing out the newfound traction that we have out back to make sure the front end of the shift performs up to expectations. Now this is all to maximize the machine's potential for this year's Snow Tracks Real World Sled of the Year.